It is time for Okaboji Broadcast with Jeff Thieb broadcasting from historic Arnold's Park Amusement Park. Welcome to Okaboji Broadcast, everybody. We're kicking off the weekend. We're coming to you from our studio right here at Arnold's Park Amusement Park. And I've got two Okaboji High School students here with me today. I have with me, it's Carter Lambert and Gwen Gerke, and they are part of the cast of, uh, it's going to be a heck of a show you guys are putting on. It is, and I have to look at your t-shirts. <laughs> it's Name in the Works, a musical review. So tell me a little bit about this show, because this, uh, this is something you're going to stream uh, as we get closer to Thanksgiving or around there somewhere. But first of all, tell me about the show, because let me, let me tell you what I was given little information here, okay? Right. Uh, the synopsis, synopsis of the musical, think Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, mashed with Quantum Leap, which is a favorite show of mine, by the way, <laughs> and then throw in a ton of musicals. So, I like the mix already, quite frankly, so let's get into it. Got, uh, Carter, you want to start off and tell a little bit about the show? Sure. So I guess to expand on that synopsis, it's... <laughs> it's pretty wide as it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So our, base, our two main characters, Charlie and Chase, are two lifelong friends, kind of like Bill and Ted. All right. They're these kind of radical 80s people, not necessarily 80s, but... Oh, the 80s on. people are cool. Yeah. I'm just telling you right no, now. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they... Uh, they find out they have to do this uh, project in school and a mysterious figure comes out of a janitor's closet which then when they enter sends them on a most epic quest <laughs> <laughs> it just sounds like so much fun now was this your brainchild i did yeah i wrote most of the show with help from script team like gwen here mm -hmm. <laughs> So, okay, Gwen, uh, tell me a little bit, what's your part in this, Ben? Well, I mean, my mom's a director, so I've kind of been helping give a little bit of feedback as to what we as a cast want. It's really been student-led for the most part. I mean, the directors have been there to help us, but we have really taken it into our own hands and brought it to life. I mean, it's awesome, but... So I kind of just have like a little bit of an inside, so to say. <laughs> but I've also helped Carter just give ideas. I can't say I've written, but I've helped with ideas. So. Yeah. Well, it sounds like a lot of fun. Now, I guess I'm one when I see Bill and Ted and Quantum Leap. That is certainly 1980s. Now, are any either one of you even familiar with either one of those uh, a movie and a TV show? Well, I had to do some research <laughs> while writing, because yes. um, when we were explaining it to some of, you know, the, our parents, they were like, that sounds like Quantum Leap, and I was like, okay, I better watch that. I better, better look so up can... Quantum Leap, Google Quantum Leap, yeah. Oh, yeah, and the reason it's like Quantum Leap is because we wanted to get as many people as we could this year, Yeah. especially since it's just so hectic, and we didn't want to do a real show for, yeah. you know, monetary reasons. Right. So, so, yeah, the main characters, they ch it changes who plays them with a consistent costume they have the entire show. Now, and so th through this janitor's closet, they make leaps through time to seek out musicals. Well, yes, it's or to the like, experience. It's yeah. to like the different eras of the musicals. Okay. So, I mean, you could go to Greece, which is like 1950s, or Hamilton, which is, you know, back in the Revolutionary War time period, right. et cetera. So... So, okay, so, and uh, any other time eras that were... Uh... Um, okay, what, when's Something Rotten? Renaissance? Something Rotten would be Renaissance. Um, there's some. Mo there's quite a few modern ones that yeah. we've done. Well, and I was looking at the, uh, at the song list here, and I've got it... Um, <laughs> a long that, list. It's, <laughs> it is a long <laughs> list. But I, from, like you said, Hamilton, uh, Dear Evan Hansen, Aladdin... Mm -hmm. uh, Music Man, uh, Waitress, yeah. Neverland, Guys and Dolls, Les Mis, Something's Rotten, The Lion King, Mary Poppins, Hairspray, Grease, Wicked, and and a lot more. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we got a lot of the big names in here just because, I mean, we're a kind of a small school. So this is like especially the biggest chance we'll ever get to do some of these songs on a stage. So that's yeah. one of the cool parts. And so are you doing live music with it or uh, okay yes. so it's, 
It's live produced music mm -hmm. going along a, with the... A loyal pit. We've a been working hard <laughs> with just a piano sheet. That's a, you know what, that's just astounding that you guys are doing that. Mm -hmm. And how many, how many students are we talking that are involved in this? Um, probably around like 35, a little bit less than last year, but okay. still a good number. What, uh, what are some of the pitfalls with, with COVID going on and so forth? I mean, normally you'd be in the auditorium uh, putting on a show and here you've got something you got to get produced and you got ready to stream and 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 where are you, where are you shooting uh, the scenes and so forth well we've been we had to start out uh, not using the auditorium but these last I think five four weeks we've probably more than that we've gotten to use the auditorium okay um, so no that's been really good and we've just been filming like every rehearsal this week just so we have enough footage to create a good show all right so how many cameras are you using uh, how are you doing just um, well we have three cameras and they're all just set up there's one right in the middle of the auditorium and then we have two on the sides okay and i can't i mean it's been we've had a couple people that are in the musical that are a part of dmp okay. at our school so they've kind of taken control of that and they've been doing that and i don't really have a huge role in that side of things, so I can't honestly say I know exactly what's going on, but that's a general. Well, it's a, it's a team effort. Yeah, yeah. Is exactly. what it is. And so who's a, a music department involved, or a, um, like how many departments are, are involved in this? Well, there's all us kind of band and choir kids. Yeah. Not all, of course, but most of us are band and choir kids. Uh, uh, DMP, Digital Media Production, has yeah. been super helpful. And then there's a theater class that has been dedicated basically to doing a bunch of our advertising. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we've gotten a lot of, uh, at least two classes have really helped us out in our school by helping us just put the production together. And then um, his mom's actually part of the Okoboji Fine Arts Mine is too as well. Yeah. And they've also helped us a ton. Yeah. Just getting, you know, advertising and giving us supplies and whatever we need, so. Thank goodness for your volunteers and, and your parents yes, and yes. everybody coming together and helping a hand, especially with a, uh, an original uh, production. I mean, now have you, that you, the fact you are going through time and you're going and you're, well, you're finding out shows like Quantum Leap and Bill and Ted and so forth. Are you discovering some music that, uh, you know, that's pretty cool. You know, that you're hearing things of, musicals maybe you've never seen never heard and my golly they had some great music going in this thing oh yeah especially i mean even some shows some of us were like oh that's super boring <laughs> oh, that was a lame show we're hearing the music a bunch and we're hearing all those just cool little things that happen in it and we're like wow <laughs> <laughs> well and of course you know you're involved in uh, in shows out of treasure village and so forth and yeah. You know, and gives you an appreciation, I bet, for like our Okaboji Summer Theater people. For, yeah, very much. Because they do, you know, several musicals a, a season. And, of course, they get to work on it at Stevens and then come here. And it, but, you know, it is. It's a tremendous amount of work uh, to very put this much. together and, and uh, make it all come together. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's been a lot of work. A lot of dedication. But I think that helps us take a little bit more pride in what we're doing, and it makes it so much more, I mean, every musical we do is important, yeah. but this one just has a special place in our hearts, <laughs> I think. Well, so. it's got your handprints all over it, you yeah. know, you've got ownership of it, you've taken ownership of it, and uh, and then you're going to be, and then you're, you know, that's a, the thing with art, you know, you work on something, you work on it, and you tweak things, and then you put it out there, and it's exciting. And also scary uh, to put those things out here. A lot of those emotions coming out of you as you're moving forward with this. Oh yeah, especially. It's been super cool though to yeah. see something I, mean, I wrote, mostly wrote being produced. And I mean, even then to add, like the cast, my, the script team, they've been, they've put in a bunch of their special little things. Like if there's anything in the background you see in the stream, yeah. it was probably from the cast suggesting, hey, we want to do this. And it was just a good idea. So everybody's had a chance to kind of put their put own their touch own. on things and, and uh, you know, a little creativity tossed in for fun. And, and that's what makes it fun when it's a group project like yeah. that. Yeah. So, okay. So uh, you've been re shooting rehearsals this week and you will be 
um, editing it together. And who's doing the editing? Oh, the um, uh, yeah, our DMP. Yeah, the, again. okay, yeah. Thank goodness. Okay, the noble class is helping us out again with that. Thank goodness yeah. for those people too. Yep. But okay, so things get edited together. Are you going to have a group viewing of it first? And okay, this is what we're putting out there, guys. That could be fun. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of thought yeah. of that. <laughs> like a cast party, a final, you know, especially to our seniors. Yeah. Yeah. Since yeah. this is their last year, that'd be cool. What now? What years are you guys? We're both juniors. Both juniors. So you got another year ahead of you. Would you like next year? Would you be interested in doing another original production or? Uh, <laughs> You're hemming and hawing over there. <laughs> well, one of the reasons that we chose to do this was because um, we could take music from our choral departments. Yeah. So we didn't have to pay for all the, you know, fees and stuff that it cost to buy that music. I hadn't thought of that. That's an excellent point. Yes. So, I mean, although I love doing it, I would love to have a show that has a little bit more structure. I mean, it's been very chaotic. I love yeah. it. Yeah. But, <laughs> I mean, just going going forward I think it could definitely be something we do in the future but I think our like the community as well yeah. also needs something that has a little bit more something they can relate to or like reflect back on and say oh you know I went and saw that when I was younger yeah. we always like to switch or it up I was in year. it in high school exactly. you know that yeah. as well that too so this and this is it's more of a review than it is a, a set production or set musical anyway mm -hmm. but uh, so okay so uh, when it's all done and you've reviewed it and you think this is it. Hoping to stream it around Thanksgiving or on Thanksgiving. What do you have a tentative plan? I know the DMP, the person who's in control, has said, I'm trying to get it done as fast as I possibly can. <laughs> so hopefully that means before Thanksgiving, thanks before Thanksgiving, okay. is, uh, that's when it has to be done. Okay. But it's hoped to be out before yeah. then. How are things going with school this year? It's a different experience, but it, you're there. You know, compared yeah. to last spring, anyway, yeah. Right. So things are going okay. You're feeling good about being in school and mm -hmm. seeing friends, and yeah. I mean, I you lost part of your sophomore year, and now, you know, now you get to experience your junior year, and hopefully, all this is over by the time you guys get your junior prom. Let's let's all cross our fingers <laughs> and toes and everything else yeah. we can possibly <laughs> cross. All right, so the production again is name in the works. <laughs> I just get the giggles whenever I say that. Name in the works, a musical review, and we're looking. For, how are you going to promote that? Okay, this is when it's streaming. This is when it's coming on. So I think that's, again, uh, Okaboji Fine Arts is going to take the lead on making sure to advertise the heck out of that on Facebook, okay. Instagram. Once we have it done, they'll just say, hey, we got it done. Here's the link to where you guys can watch it at home. Okay. And then we want to make sure everybody likes and shares. Yeah. Likes and shares, yeah, exactly. Well, all right, guys. Anything else to, for the good of the cause to get out there that uh, you want to let people know about? I don't know. <laughs> and that's it, folks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, guys, I appreciate you coming in here, and you know, you're my first uh, my guests here in the Arnest Park Studio. So nice. it's a pleasure to have you here, and thank you for the the work you're putting out there. It's, you know, it's so important. Creativity is so important. And uh, the fact that you're doing this is, uh, it's, it's probably more astounding that you're going to, years from now, you're going to look back and go, I can't believe we did that. <laughs> and here you are. So, all right. Thank you so much for being here with me today, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. We have had Carter Lambert and Gwen Gerke here with us today, juniors at Okaboji High School. And check out when they stream their production of Name in the Works, a musical review that's going to be coming to a computer near you. We want to thank them for being here with us. We want to thank you, as always, for watching us right here on Okaboji Broadcast. Okaboji Broadcast, broadcasting from historic Arnold's Park Amusement Park, is brought to you by the Scott Troutman State Farm Agency in Spirit Lake, by Pure Fishing, located in Spirit Lake, by Last Touch Painting and Cleaning, providing interior, exterior, and house painting and professional cleaning services in Spirit Lake, by Quest Wealth Management, a financial advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, with advisors Jan Spielman, AJ Spielman, and Erica Wachholz by Ducky's Marine and Motorsports Repair in Spirit Lake, Bank Midwest, Dream Big, Plan Wisely, Live Well by Lakes Regional Healthcare, Innovera Partner, Brands Law Office located in Spirit Lake 
by Ruth Van Locker, where carnivores are welcome on Hill Avenue in Spirit Lake, by Back Engineering Services located in Spirit Lake, by B Radiant Laser Skin Studio in the Okaboji Plaza in Okaboji, and by Michael Thorson Farm Bureau Office located in Spirit Lake.